Rachel. Hey guys, Zach here, undergroundstrength.tv with the Strong Life Show. So today, me and Ethan, we went mountain biking. We are probably there for like an hour and a half. Felt awesome. Came to the gym, haven't been here for a week um, after uh, tennis camp with my daughter and Ethan being there. So doing some strong stuff, playing some catch with him. He's gonna push some sleds, throw some medicine balls. I'm doing a real simple circuit. Trap bar deadlift, which I'm gonna show you here. Um, walking lunges and dips. So doing a lot of body weight and prepping my body. Gonna get my uh, <laughs> a fly. Sh shoulder surgery, shoulder surgery scheduled. <laughs> so gonna get a little scope on that left shoulder and get back to being jacked. And uh, that's it. After riding my bike to today, it kind of gave me almost like another confidence of like, all right, as soon as this surgery's over, I'll do more cardio. I'll be out mountain biking, be out running. I'll do a lot of lower body work, and I will get, I will get stronger instead of letting it hold me back. And I want to give you just a real quick look here. What do we got here? We've got the No Easy Day slogan up on the wall, and I'm starting a new strength camp for men at both of my underground strength gym locations. And one thing I noticed is, <laughs> These guys do not follow through, and I'm passionate about seeing men living strong lives. Why? I get so many emails day in and day out from men who talk about, you know, these tough times they're facing in their lives. And uh, then I look at the list of men on the whiteboard over there who signed up for the challenge, and less than 10% follow through. We give them accountability. We check in with them on Facebook. We have a private group. We give them multiple opportunities to train. And even with them paying for it, many of them don't show up. Take extreme ownership and say, uh, it is my fault, bad leadership for them not showing up. But I will say this, men, <laughs> it's something happens to men when they get out of sports or get out of high school. They lose that edge, and that is the worst thing you could lose. And that, extreme ownership for that, is you taking ownership for your lack of toughness, your lack of strength. You've got to show up, and then coaches like myself, underground strength coaches all around the world, will help you live that strong life. But shit, you gotta get in your car, or ride your bike, or however it works, to get to the gym. And then you have a coach take you through the paces but take the first step by driving, by showing up. So that fires me up to keep leading from the front, being a leader, representing to be strong. Closing in on age 40, and uh, I know back in the day when I thought of age 40, I thought of you know somebody who's kind of weak, old, not really tough or athletic, and uh, now I know that that's completely a choice. So let's get on with it here. Let's hit some deads. Some deadlifts, some dips, and walking lunges. I'm just gonna get in on this set. And hey, look at this guy, E guy. All right, buddy, let daddy hit the set. Rock. Jaddy got it. Jaddy can. We got 410. 410 on the bar. Walk it out. Rock. Hit that shit. Let's go. Rock. Good job, and now hit my walking lunges, and even when you're injured, there's ways to work around it. Deadlifts feel fine, lunges, low rep pull-ups, recline rowing. Guys, we gotta kill the excuses. You gotta live the strong life, I see no other way. Here's how you get started. Go to undergroundstrength.tv, sign up for the newsletter, click start here, use the body weight program, start there. Later guys, click the links below.